Good day guys and welcome to another Slow Tomer and Psych the Hedgehog Wednesday book night. Today we'll be more or less discussing another interesting book, so we'll put Sonic aside there so you can more or less listen to me chatter on and get straight into the actual book itself. It is a fairly small book, it's from pretty much the same series as the last one. As you can probably tell there, I'll just bring it in as close as possible there, here we go. As you can probably tell there, it's good old Sonic the Hedgehog, and this one is called Sonic the Hedgehog Robonic Oil. It's one of like the previous book where it's got a major fold up in the middle. It's from good old Ladybird, uh, Ladybird at the very bottom. At the back, you just got more or less the other books of the series, which will be more or less discussed further on down this channel. So let's get straight into the actual book itself. So in the front page, you have good old Sonic the Hedgehog and Towers giving each other the high fives, which is always a good sign. We just had the good old intro, Sonic the Hedgehog. Robonics oil giving us the good thumbs up. He's a little chubby there. Okay, let's get straight into it. So you can pause this at any given time. As you can probably tell, you can read through the text if you want to. I won't read it through, but I'll more or less describe what's going on so you can have a little, I guess, clue as to what, if you want to follow through me or you just want to pause and whatnot. This is from Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the various badniks and, well, some of the badniks are from Sonic the Hedgehog 2, some of the badniks are from Sonic the Hedgehog 1. So you can see the various terrains, you can make out what it is, and he's just running through, picking up rings and avoiding things, which is always a good thing for Sonic anyway. In the next page, you have, you can pause it if you want, you have good old Sonic the Hedgehog stopping, Is like, what's going on here, there's an oil mill, this is not right. And you have Dr. Robonic running after him saying, whoa, what's going on? You better back away from it. In the next slide, you have him basically making a fool of Dr. Robonic as he spins around him and who gives him a massive, massive migraine. And you have got old Sonic there just stopping his foot saying, hey, I did good. So I'll leave it there for a while. In the next page, you have Dr. Robotic, oddly enough, telling Sonic what his plan is. I <laughs> don't know why you would do that, but hey, I guess it's more of an egotistical thing than anything else. In the next slide, you have him saying, look, that's what I built. It's protected by so many badniks. You can't do anything about it. Oil equals money. Money equals more robots to destroy you. In the next page. You have good old Sonic the Hedgehog running off, I'll just move my fingers there, running off to basically stop the machine. Obviously Dr. Eggman or Dr. Robonic is not going to have none of that and gets into one of his machines and off he goes to try to um, stop the Sonic. So this is going to be quite suspenseful. In the next show, oh, oh not the next show, in the next slide more or less, you have good old Dr. Robonic running after Sonic and as you can probably tell he, he doesn't succeed too well in that he crashes and there goes his machines as it normally had happens. In the next one you have Dr. Robonic saying, you know what, it's time to unleash hell upon you. I'll bring this in close so you can get a good view. And uh, Sonic and Tails is like, alright, bring it, let's see what you got. And we open this up. Dun, 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 dun. We'll move this in. We'll start from the side. We have good old Dr. Robotics in Unleash Chaos. He unleashes his birds, his drillers, his sharks, his works. So I'll get a good view of that. So you can pause it if you want to read it. As we slide across. Yeah, his friends are quite terrified, but, uh, but Dr. Robotic is quite impressed. But Sonic, on the other hand, is not too amused. He's quite excited from the looks of it. In the next one, you have good old Sonic running towards them. Why? Boom, there you go. He destroys every single band you can, <laughs> as you can imagine. Robonic is not a happy camper. As the uh, flying creatures run off to him, Sonic is wondering what to do. So he waits for every single one of them to basically circle him, and he jumps up and destroys them in one ferocious hit. There you go.
as you can tell he runs off to the actual oil drills and he seems to tamper around with it with a uh, wrench no one other and as he goes to the actual water drill as well he destroys bad nicks and does more of his wondrous things I wonder what he's actually doing to the machines As you could probably tell, Dr. Robonic is not too amused by it, but then he's thinking, well, I struck Doyle from the sides of it. It seems that he's a happy camper and it looks like everything is going his way. Oddly enough, as you could probably tell, it doesn't strike oil, it actually strikes water. Cold, cold water. And um, <coughs> as you can tell, he's getting soaked and gets tossed around get a good view there obviously Dr. Robotics is not such a happy camper so he packs up his stuff and away he goes obviously he's not amused about what Sonic the Hedgehog has just done but you gotta count your losses right And there we have good old Sonic the Hedgehog saving the world and saving the day and away he goes. I'm surprised he actually hasn't destroyed that bag, Nick, but um, maybe another time, maybe another time. So everybody's happy giving the salutes and always good. And the last page is good old Sonic and Tails giving each other a high five. Well guys, that's Sonic the Hedgehog, Robonics Oil. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's not too much of an interesting book in terms of its length. But it is a nice little pickup if you're a Sonic fan or you just want to basically chill out with the kids or whatnot. I hope you enjoy. Until next Lord Tom and Sonic Hedgehogs Wednesday book night. See you guys and speed on.